हॉर्स कार्ड प्रॉब्लम हॉर्स कार्ड प्रॉब्लम द थिंग इज प्रॉब्लम यस नाउ यू हैव दिस इज योर कार्ड दिस इज योर हॉर्स दिस इज योर हॉर्स द फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन अ हॉर्स ड्यू टू कार्ड इज in this direction horse due to cart and the force on cart due to horse is acting in this direction so they cancel out each other being internal forces but then how does the cart move see due to friction the horse is able to press the ground let me draw like this figure so that you can understand the thing it presses the ground in this direction this is due to friction let's call it action this is the action actually this is due to friction due to friction now let me write it in this manner so that you don't get confused i use this symbol basically friction due to friction i am able to uh, press the ground due to friction due to friction due to friction friction the horse horse is able to press the ground is able to press the ground press the ground now the ground and uh, the ground due to reaction this is the reaction force of the ground this is the reaction force of the ground now due to the uh, this horse uh, who is pressing this ground is the action force the horse's force horse's force is the action force action force and the ground Uh, exerts a force ground wait a minute let me write it clearly uh, ground ground exerts a force exerts exerts a force on the horse on the horse which is the reaction let's call it which is the reaction force which is the reaction r which is the reaction reaction r now you see reaction r now this angle is theta let us see now you already know this the r gets resolved gets resolved resolved into two components into wait a minute yes into two components into two components two components components the first component is this is the r cos theta component and this side is the r sin theta component now which balances the weight of the horse right the so r cos r sin theta balances the weight of the horse and it is the r cos theta component it is the r cos theta component r cos theta which helps which helps which helps the horse the cart rather i should say cart and horse to move cart and horse to move now similarly in case of a, a man walking you need to just remove the word cart and you need to replace the word with man so i am just doing it in a very short see man walking man walking on ground man walking now see due to friction you are able to press the same whatever language i have used up there replace the word ho horse by man and remove the word cart that will do the job now this is the due to friction the man's friction this is the reaction of the ground again this is theta this is r cos theta and this is your r sin theta and uh, the uh, the r sin theta balances the r sin theta sorry wait a minute this is r sin theta the reaction force this is your r sin theta r sin theta balances the weight of the man mg man and the r cos theta r cos theta helps to move forward helps to move forward move forward i am not writing the whole thing here what you need to do is replace the uh, remove the word cart in the above problem remove the word cart word cart and replace the word and replace the word the word horse by man 
horse by man that would do the language remains the same everything remains the same see i'll help you i'll read it for you how to write it due to friction man is able to here instead of horse you will write man is able to press the ground here you will write man's force is the action force ground exerts a force on the man here you will write man which which is the reaction force which the which is the reaction r r gets resolved into two components r sin theta equal to mg r cos theta which helps the instead of cart and horse you will write man to move that's all you will have to just change this much the language remains the same now we were now we will talk of something very very important that is we will see uh, spring potential energy we will see spring's potential energy and then we will see other uh, gravitational potential energy and all that stuff right we will see the spring potential energy see the thing is this uh, before i uh, get into this now in this situation if you see in this situation in the above two situation this r cos theta in this case or r r cos theta in this case they are frictional they are due to friction this r let me write it properly this is r now here the work done in both the cases work done in both the cases is r cos theta dot s remember this is a vector quantity do not consider this as dot product of r and s and this cos theta this is not the thing this is not at all the thing here the friction is doing positive work that i wanted to tell you that's why i discussed those tools before i got into that all that spring potential energy i just uh, uh, found, uh, i got this point that i need to say this to you so this will be r cos theta s some cos suppose they are moving a some cos phi let us call it this is this is the dot product for which till now i was using cos theta for that um for for your dot product now i'm using that means i mean to say this is the the force in the x axis in the x direction and this is moving in that direction suppose they are moving in the same direction since they are moving in the same direction so this phi will become zero as r cos theta r cos theta see i am not writing r i am writing r cos theta this is a force in the x axis r cos theta and s r in same direction same direction same direction so now wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute uh, same direction same direction same direction now you will see that the work here work here is r cos theta r cos theta s and this is greater than zero here only in uh, while walking or this movement friction is doing positive work this is one thing you need to keep keep in mind do not think that always friction will do negative work this is where friction does positive work if they ask you in a question paper how can you show when friction will do positive work these are the two examples that i have given you uh, to make you understand that friction is doing always positive work uh, at times it does positive work not always at times it does positive work in uniform circular motion when a body is rolling say let's say you are moving with a constant speed uh, 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 i'll give you one more very good example let me write it down let before i come to spring potential energy as i talked earlier let's suppose uh, let us draw a line and suppose a body is moving with uniform speed through a many body a car a car is moving suppose suppose car is moving moving with uniform speed with uh, uh, uniform speed uh, if i say uniform speed uh, moving with uniform speed right uniform speed at that time at that time the uh, this uh, rolling uh, at that time the rolling friction is zero rolling friction is zero rolling friction is zero you're not pressing the accelerator you're just moving with a constant speed it's a constant speed that's all you're not letting it go down letting it go up the rolling friction is zero at that time work done by rolling friction let me write fr fr uh, dot s suppose i write like this it will be zero because in this case as i wrote here earlier fr is zero that's why see friction will at times give you zero uh, work done 
this friction will is this is why i uh, made you uh, understand this problem there will be a question that show that when friction will give you uh, uh, the work done by friction would be zero at this in this situation you will get work done by friction is zero